In the last video, you guys asked, what are some of the vehicles and tools that are included in Farming Simulator 23? So today, we're going to look at the vehicles. That is going to include small, medium, and large tractors, trucks, harvesters, and forage harvesters. We also have potato, beets, cotton, grapes, olives, forestry, cars, and pallet handling. I'm going to briefly pause on each one so you guys can hit pause on the video if you want to do that. For example, the Landini Rex 4120 GT, 112 horsepower, 24 miles per hour. I'm not going to talk about the pricing or slot count, anything like that. Just how much power and how fast. So you guys have seen that one. Let's move on. The Lindner Lintrack 130, 136 horsepower, 31 miles per hour. Next up is the John Deere 6120M, 140 horsepower, 24 miles per hour. Next up, the Fent 314 Vario, 142 horsepower, 24 miles per hour. The Massey Ferguson MF 5S 145, 145 horsepower, as you probably would guess, 24 mile per hour max speed. The Valtra G135, 145 horsepower at 24 miles an hour. In medium tractors, we have nine total tractors, starting with the Massey Ferguson MF 3670. This is a starting vehicle, 170 horsepower, 24 miles an hour. Next up, the Zader Crystal HD, 171 horsepower. 24 miles an hour, 175 horsepower on the T6175 from New Holland. Very good to see that. 31 miles an hour on that one. I, I almost saw saying the miles per hour. It it matters, trust me. <laughs> Next up, another starting vehicle, the John Deere 4755. 190 horsepower, 21 miles per hour. Be careful about selling this one at the beginning. There's some equipment that you can use with this. Next up, the Landini 7230 Robo 6. I love this tractor. 225 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Next up, the JCB Fast Track, 235 horsepower at 37 miles per hour. Very, very affordable and important tractor there. Next up, Defense 724 Vario, 246 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Second to last, I believe, the Deutz 8280 TTV, 287 horsepower, 37 miles per hour. And lastly, the Kloss Axion 870, 295 horsepower on here at 31 miles an hour. Time for the big boys, the large tractors. We got nine of these as well. First is the Massey Ferguson 8S305, $245,000 for this. It is very affordable. 305 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. I think, actually, I think all of these go 31 or 37. If it's any different, I'll let you know. Next is the McCormick X8 631 VT Drive, 310 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Next, we have the John Deere 7R310, 352 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Next, the Fent 942 Vario, love this thing, 415 horsepower, 37 miles an hour. It's a big boy. Next up, we have the Case Magnum 380 CVX Drive. This is the showcase. This is the tractor of Farming Simulator 23, the face, if you will. 417 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Next up, we have the New Holland T8 Genesis, uh, 48 or T8 435. That's 435 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. Next up, the John Deere 8R 410. That's the big one, 458 horsepower, and it's got 31 miles an hour, and it comes with narrow duels, which is pretty darn cool. Next up, the Zarian 5000. This is not articulating. It is four-wheel steering, 530 horsepower, 31 miles an hour. And lastly, the versatile four-wheel drive 620, 665 horsepower, 21 miles per hour. It weighs 19 tons, and it is um, actually not that bad. It's not the most expensive tractor by far. As for trucks, we only have two of them. The first is the Max Superliner 6x4, 500 horsepower, 49 miles per hour. And then we have the Black Anthem 6x4, 505 horsepower at 49 miles per hour. So pretty identical when it comes to both of these. You just pick the one that you like. Something that shocked me, only five combine harvesters, and it goes from 129,000 to 300,000 quickly. There is not a lot of mid-size stuff going on here. Uh, we have the starting one, the top liner 4090 HTS. You may want to buy a second one of these versus trying to buy a case next. So just a heads up there, you may want to run two combine harvesters with these. Uh, we've also got the Axle Flow 7150. We'll probably talk about capacities with these as that's probably going to matter the most. Um, 8,500 liters on the Deutz Far. 10,570 liters on the axle flow. Only Kloss Tryon 750. This will hold 12,000 liters. 
On the John Deere X9 1100, this holds 16,200, and the max is held by the Lexian 8900 at 18,000 liter capacity. One other really cool thing with these is if you don't know which header to buy, for example, uh, go into the combos and it'll tell you which ones are going to be perfect for you. For example, this John Deere, we've got a regular grain head, a corn head, and a sunflower header that could be perfect for that. If you're in forage harvesting, there's only one option, at least for now, until they add something else later on down the road, if they do that at all. Uh, this is the Finkatana 650, 650 horsepower, 395 five thousand dollars 24 miles an hour and it will do grass and chaff similar story in potato technology we have your cedar i believe and then we have the harvester so you're going to need both of these if you want to do anything having to do with potatoes uh the grimmer gl420 this is going to be your planter three meters at seven miles an hour it'll do potatoes or seeds so if you have potatoes laying around you can put them in here and use them instead of seeds and then we have the Grimmer Vintner 4150. Now, this is a $600,000 harvester for potatoes, and you have to have this if you're doing potatoes. As far as I've seen, uh, at least here, it's, it's a tough world, man. It's a tough world. Next up, we have Sugar Beet Technology, and this we get a little bit of a leeway because we have a trailed harvester if we want to use that. We've also got a larger harvester if you want to use that. I mean, it's 500 and eighty thousand dollars for the pair i mean you could buy the the harvester but you need the header to go with it um but you got the grimmer rooster one hundred twenty three thousand dollars not terrible if you want to do anything with that that holds six thousand liters and the big harvester this will hold 43,000 liters. When it comes to cotton, we've only got one harvester, but we do have two different ways to move around the cotton bale. So we have the Case IH Module Express 635. This costs you about half a million bucks, uh, working with six meters at six miles an hour. It makes 20,000 liter cotton bales, big square modules. Now, you can move those around with the Module 4, which will move one, or you can use the module X semi. You will need a semi truck to move this around. It is more expensive, but you can move two bales. So it just depends on how you want to do it. When it comes to grape technology, we actually have a quite a bit going on in here. The one thing to note is you cannot plant grapes or olives wherever they are on the map. Those are the areas that you have. So be mindful of that. Don't just buy a random field wanting to use these. Um, so what do we have in here? Well, we've got the Discavine V. This is a subsoiler. You can actually click the details button and it'll tell you. Subsoiler prepares your fields, tools suitable for grape and olive farming. Cool. We also have this guy, the TMC Casella TPN140. This is going to be a mulcher, so you can go through and do any mulching. We do have a pruner as well. This was released with Farming Simulator 22, but works uh, pretty good. Then we have a sprayer, 4,000 liters, and you can do liquid fertilizer in there, or you could do manure. You can use that if you want to, the FarmTech VarioFX. 750 and then when it comes to harvesting you're gonna need the broad 9070 this is 242 thousand dollars there is no other way to harvest grapes you need this and then if you want to transport them you're going to use this as well uh the Furman lws 12,000. that is going to be how you move them from point a to point b now that being said if we jump over to olive technology we basically have the same setup of equipment here However, we do have a different harvester, the New Holland Broad 9090X Olive. So make sure that you use this. They are not interchangeable with grapes and olives. Something that has returned to Farming Simulator is logging. We have the Ponzi Cobra, the Rana FD20D, and the Prenneth. So we've got something for cutting down trees. We've got something for moving trees from point A to point B. And we've got something to grind the stumps down, which is pretty darn cool. And these are just going to cut in pieces. All the logs are basically the same. And all 26 of them. It's not bad. Two more setups to go. First is the Loser Pickup 2017. 300 horsepower. $45,000. 49 miles an hour. And lastly, we have stuff in pallet handling. There's also a trailer in here, but we'll talk about that more in the equipment. Uh, we have three telehandlers and we have one forklift. So we have the Manitou MLT 737130 PS Plus, uh, 129 horsepower, 24 miles an hour. And then we have the JCB 54170 Agri Pro, 175 or 145 horsepower, sorry, 24 miles an hour. Man, my brain hurts from looking at all these numbers. And lastly, we have the Unainrich EFG S50. This is going to be your one uh, pallet uh, moving thing. What did I call this? Pallet fork? Forklift. 
God, I'm an idiot. So there you go. That is all of the equipment as far as vehicles go in Farming Simulator 23. If you want to see anything else, let me know. Otherwise, next video is going to be equipment.